This is the rig that we use for interviews. Once we got back from Photokino, we got a few questions, so I thought I would do a quick rundown about how this rig works and what we have in it. I'm gonna put links to everything down in the description. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, we're here to answer. So we're using the A72 camera from Sony, mounted with a 24 to 70 f4 lens, and I find it to be a good all-around lens for doing interviews. It can do close-ups relatively well, it can also do relatively well wide shots. It's not very wide or extremely close, but it's a good all-around lens to have on the camera. The camera is mounted in a small rig cage. Now we use this cage for several things. For once, when we're out in a show, the camera can take quite an abuse and the rig protects it very well. It's a very snug fit. The other thing is that the small rig cage allows us to add several mounting points. So here you see our microphone receiver, but I can also use it, thanks Dolores, but I can also use it um, for a magic arm if I wanted to add a monitor or something, I can use this. And there are many, many, many mounting points here. I mean, it's phenomenal. Let's go over audio. The first thing that we're using is Rhodes Filmmaker's Kit. And this is the receiver. I have the transmitter in my pocket. And usually I'll be carrying this throughout the day for interviews, but also if I just want to do a quick thing in front of the camera. We're fitting the receiver into a Tescam DR70 recorder. And that can record four channels. It has um, headphones output so we can monitor sound. And another thing that it has, it has four XLR inputs. One of the XLRs we're using for Roadmix interview mic. And if I wanted to interview Dolores, I would just put the mic between us and it's dynamic enough to pick up both me and her. Usually what I'll do is that I'll remove the transmitter from me and give it to the person who's being interviewed because their voice is more important. But, you know, in a sense, the interview mic will do as well. For the next round, we're not going to use the cable. You know, it's heavy, it's bulky, it limits us on where we can go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a wireless version of this. And this is Rode interview kit. And it's a little cube and it transmits to a similar transmitter like this one. Uh, we're gonna have it mounted here. And here's another reason to use the cage. So we're gonna have one that goes into my receiver, into my transmitter, and one of these that goes into the mic. Dolores, can you hold this for me for a second? Thank you. The last thing that I want to talk about is how we power the camera for an entire day of interview. Um, we're using a Tether Tool case relay and it's this little battery and it goes up into a battery stud that goes into the Sony. So this is a battery by itself and it has, I think, several minutes. But on top of that, we can power it with any USB bank battery and we're using an Anker 20,000 milliamps battery. So that is usually enough for almost a day. If we need to swap mid-interview, there is no problem. Some of the power is held here. So we can quickly swap the battery and continue to shoot. This is it. This is our interview rig. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know right here in the comment. I'm gonna put links to everything we use in the comments. Please don't hesitate to ask and I'll be seeing you around. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one, and you can subscribe to us down here.